Let's get ready for work. <laughs> Hey besties, it is currently 6 a.m. I have to be at the office at 9. So I figured why not do a little chit chat, get ready with me for work. And yeah, let's talk about how my life has been recently now that I've moved out to LA. Let's get started besties. We're gonna start with skincare or yeah yeah we're yeah cool um i'm gonna wash my face now so first for skincare i'm gonna use this glow recipe serum so i've been in la for about a week now um my dad flew out with me but he just left the other day so i'm out here alone now and i like i don't know how i feel about it like i really love being here this is just kind of a learning curve for me like being out here on my own okay next i got a jade roller i still have no idea what this does or if it does anything at all anyways yeah um definitely a learning curve being out here but i feel like i'll learn a lot like being on my own you know because I've never really had this opportunity to like see what a life outside of like my little college bubble is. You know, I'm going to be a senior when I go back to Drexel in the fall, so I need to start um, thinking about that kind of lifestyle where I'm like not constantly surrounded by my college friends anymore and like I kind of have to pave my own way. So here we are. This is kind of a trial run. And I also wanted to come out here to LA to see if this is like a feasible place for me to live. Um, so far it does seem like it, but then again, I've only been here for a week. So who knows, maybe, maybe I'll realize that I like the East Coast more because there are some very notable differences between the East and West Coast. Okay, going along with the Jade Roller, I got this Rose Quartz Gua Sha, I think that's what it is. I don't know. I saw Lizzo do this, so I was like, why not? But anyways, yeah, um, I feel like there are a lot of differences between the East Coast and West Coast, obviously. One of the big things for me is there's no like centralized transportation system. You know, like NYC, Philly, they have subways. Like there's SEPTA, there's Metro, whatever. Here, like, yeah, there is Metro, but it's like super inconvenient. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a driving city. And like, yeah, I like driving, but there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. And it is kind of nice, like how in Philly, I kind of know how to deal with that. I'm definitely getting a lot more experience driving out here because, <laughs> LA drivers, man, I don't know what the fuck y'all are on, but some of you should not be on the road. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, the last thing I like to do before my makeup is put on a moisturizing cream. So this is by Burt's Bees, and I just put like little dots all over my face. So we're gonna be doing that. Anyways, yeah, I was like driving here the other day, and literally this one lady just stops in the middle of the road and swings the driver's door open like right into my lane as i was like coming towards her at 30 miles per hour and i was like dude what the hell what the hell are you doing okay i prepped my skin now i'm gonna brush my teeth just to like let the moisturizer and everything soak up a little bit and also because i refuse to do makeup without brushing my teeth Okay, I brushed my teeth. I decided I'm actually gonna change first. There's really no like good place to show you the whole ensemble because the full length mirror is like right next to my bed. Um, but anyways, I recently got my first Aritzia bodysuit. I've heard so many things about these guys and I, I think the hype is valid because I love how this fits on me. It feels like butter and I really wanna get more in this style, but I swear to God, like every other color is sold out. Like I visited like two Aritzias out here already and I cannot find another one. I just really want one in like a black or a brown or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this. And then to go with it, I have these brown trousers that I got at H&M. My office isn't really that like 
businessy. Like I could totally wear jeans instead, but sometimes I like to feel a little more put together than just like jeans. I don't know how I'm gonna get you guys to see this. Maybe if I like stand up on my bed. Wait. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is the fit. Um, so yeah, I feel like I look pretty professional. I'm using these gold hoops. I've had these from Forever 21 for like ever. And then I'm wearing, oh. All of these gold necklaces. Um, and they're from Joy Cuff. Accessories are in. Now I need to do something about this hair because it's not the vibes right now. I feel like I keep pushing back makeup, but I'll get there, I promise. I just, yeah, wanna fix my hair first. Anyways, I feel like I haven't really told you guys much about my job itself and my internship. Like, you know, the reason why I'm out here. Basically, it's for my co-op. I've mentioned that before. If you guys are new here and you don't really get like the whole Drexel co-op system, it's just like work experience that's built into our curriculum. We need it to like get credits to graduate. So this is my second co-op. I did my first one last summer. Um, with a PR firm based in Nashville. And so now I'm doing it with a PR firm based in LA. While I loved my experience at the first one, I'm liking this one better because I feel like they're just giving me a more, like a, a, a larger variety of tasks to do. I mean, obviously my other one was remote and this one's in person. So I get a lot more experience out of like being in an office environment and like networking with people. I know my hair looks so weird right now, but trust the process. I'm really liking my internship so far. I only did three days so far and one of them was remote, which was yesterday. My schedule is pretty like, I wouldn't say lenient because it's like any nine to five, except I have off on Fridays and I work remotely Mondays. But other than that, like, I feel like I have a decent amount of free time out here to kind of just do what I want. And I'm really glad I do because obviously like I'm in a new place and I want to see more things. And like, yeah, I visited here a lot for vacation, but I've never actually like lived here, you know? I feel like I'm just rambling at this point because I need to keep talking while I do my hair. Okay, here we go. Hair is done. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my makeup. My makeup routine is very simple. It literally takes me like 10 minutes to do my makeup. I'm gonna start with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Illuminator with Hyaluronic Acid. Interesting. I just use this as like a highlight and also kind of an eyeshadow. And I just like rub it in with my fingers like that. I don't know why I'm giving you guys a tutorial because I can guarantee no one will want to copy this. I'm using this NYX that's the point hella fine eyeliner just in black so yeah i'm just gonna do a small little wing and i'm gonna do this off camera because i really need to concentrate on my eyeliner recently i've been really digging putting white liner on my waterline so this is the nyx jumbo eye pencil in the color cottage cheese for mascara we've got my holy grail um the Too Faced better than sex mascara i've been using this since i was like 16. it's just so good i haven't changed it Gorge. Okay, so lastly, eyebrows is this Anastasia, 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 anyways, it's an eyebrow gel, it's like tinted. All right, friends, I hope you guys enjoyed doing this little get ready with me for work um, and just like having a fun little chit chat. This was great. So yeah, I'm gonna make myself some coffee because I am in desperate need of it. And I'm gonna start headed to the office. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you made it to this point, you are a very good human. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. We're shooting stars.